No music, no nothing, just ASMR of box cutting. Oh, you know what? You can tell that this is my first time doing an unboxing because I forgot my scissors. So <laughs> let me let me go. Oh, uh, where? I'm back. I know a lot of people use knives for the unboxing experience, but I just like to go like this. I just go. Whoop. I just wanted to make sure uh, that the box doesn't contain anything else. Like you know, I I I I'll, I hype things up like, oh, it's a keyboard unboxing, and I just open it up, and it ends up being like vegetables or like bricks, right? So I did peel the tape off and peek inside the box just to make sure that it is uh, the keyboard <laughs> and then I taped it back uh, you know, pick it back up <laughs> so I'll request open the box <laughs> uh, Bruno says which switch does this keyboard have oh just, just hold on a minute hold on a minute step by step right step by step okay this is not maybe knives are better yeah. or this you know, this pair of scissors is just way too dull now okay you see that Ooh. Oh, I'm seeing several boxes. Wow, it's packaged well, so that's good. That's a good start. How much was the keyboard again? Um, the whole set was about two hundred dollars USD. Wow, look at that gaming desk pad. Oh, respect your gaming gear. Don't know what that means, but uh, I'll respect it. Wow, you know this box is high quality. Look at that soft fabric mesh with uh natural rubber. Ooh, and the, that's the size if you can take a look the real deal look at that oh it's heavy they collaborated with ducky i guess the model is one two oh the duckies have all uh, the metal plates in them i see that's why they're so hefty <laughs> oh that's my expression gosh help why is it not peeling i'm not gonna cut it through you have to preserve the tapes it's all about preserving the original packaging. You don't cut through tapes. But thankfully this worked. Alright. Oh what? It has its own pouch everybody. Look at that. It's got its own pouch. Oh that's awesome. Attention to detail. Here we go. Uh, wow. That's actually incredible. Let me, let me uh, get into this. Wow. Come on. Ooh! Damn! Isn't this pretty or what? This is slick. Yeah. The print quality is actually really good. Yeah. Oof. But it does smell, you know that factory production line smell? I do, I do smell that a bit, but I'm sure that's going to, you know, go away pretty soon. So Jolly, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm savoring my moment today. But let me leave this off to the side. It's time. So this is the dimensions, this, the, the actual specification. Wow. Am I missing anything? Oh, yeah, ooh, I almost did miss something. Keep cap puller. Wow, okay, so it, it even comes with a special booklet. Look at that. There we go. Oh no, these are manuals. Wow, they actually made a special manual for this keyboard. Look at that. It's all color coded and everything. Oh, warranty information. This is pretty generic. USB C. High quality, actually. Look at that. Are you ready? <laughs> wow. That's so cool! It's so nice! It's a lot nicer than I expected! Wow! Like, actual wow! Oh, it feels... Oh! <laughs> For those of you wondering, I got silver switches. Uh, because I always wanted to try out the silver switches, and I think this is my time to finally try it out. All right? Silver. Okay, closer look for you to enjoy. Wow, do you see that? Wow. Ooh, look at the, the illustrations and all the, uh, the, the, the graphics. 
Yeah, even ha you can even go uh, uh, shortcut keys for the uh, the key modes. Isn't that awesome? Ducky and Respect V says right here. That's really cool. And that's awesome with a little plate as well. If you didn't get this keyboard on the first run, oh, you don't get the numbers like one out of hundred or something like that. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, look at that. It's actually engraved. And the DJ Max logo right there, and L fail and V keyboard, and it can. I'll have it in two steps. The, for the footrest, let's get the desk pad, shall we? Now that's, now that's a setup. I'm going to be quiet. I'm just going to let you listen to the keys, okay? Can you hear? Okay. How it says, sounds like the switches are messed up. I'll send you my address on Discord so you can send it to me and I'll troubleshoot it. All right, okay, fine, fine, fine. Yeah, I trust you. You hear that kind of like a metal echo? So that does exist a bit. However, this is the best keyboard I've ever owned in my life. I've never spent this much money on a keyboard. So it is the best experience I'm, you know, I've ever experienced. <laughs> Uh, so my yeah, uh, so I guess that's a good convert comparison. Good question, Bruno. So this keyboard that I've been rocking for the past two years is called Fnatic Mini Streak that I bought off of a Best Buy shelf specifically to play uh, DJ Master Respect V, and it has MX Brown switches. And I love the um, see how smaller it is. It does uh, save a lot of space when I'm trying to you know mouse around, right? However, two years of rhythm gaming did take a toll, and one of the switch here is re double registering, and sometimes other keys are double registering uh, randomly. So yeah, Rocky Studio they specifically mentioned why they went for the full size. It's because a lot of people, especially for like eight key binding, use the number pad. They originally were considering the ten keyless layout like this one, um, but. Because people use the number pad to play the game, they went for this. Oh, that's a. Oh, it even has the, the caps. Do you see that? Let's get it. Let's get it. So if you flip it, the USB C right there, the grooves here, that's for cable managing. So you can do that and, and put it into the groove there. My trusty. Good old fanatic keyboard. Uh, you've done well. You've done well. But it goes. Everybody, please say F. I'll do a proper Viking uh, memorial. I'll put it on a floating boat. Um, send it on a lake and burn it. Yeah. <laughs> fire, fire. Just everyone's so happy to burn it. All right. It's alive! Oh, it is actually alive. Do you see the light? Is the light there? It's lighting. Oh, it does work! Yo! Oh, that's so cool! They're just mapped to 4, 5, and 6, and 8. Although it takes some time, though. So here, it does, there's no delay, right? But... There's a delay here. Interesting. Refund, yeah, just eat. It's not a biggie. I guess we don't play with this, so Mitromet Remix is a good one. Oh, actually, where are the lighting? Oh, okay, FN and F10. Is this FN? Okay. Oh, here we go. 
<laughs> Yay! Whoa, you see that? Look at that, it's so clean! There we go, there we go. You see that? That's more like it, that's my setup. Oh, she's the such fast. You know what? It's it's so nice that I'm I'm really not sure if I should be using it. <laughs> Gosh, it'd have been so nice if I could buy two, like one for display and one for just using it. Oh right, hyper! Oh right, 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 right. The ultimate freaking move that I can make here is this. So this is the uh, Respect V limited edition album. And in it, you get a chest box. You see that? Metal keycaps. It'll fail. And L clear metal keycaps. It even says respect V in, in the box too. This is metal too. There we go. Yeah, I think this is right. Okay. <sighs> yeah, isn't this sexy or what? Oh, you don't know? Okay, never mind. Why don't you get me? Why don't you get my philosophy? Well, I guess if it's escape key, we put we want to put fail, right? You know what? That's pretty awesome, actually. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. F five, okay, F five. You're right, you're right. F five, five because you use it uh, for to start the music. Cool, cool, cool. I, I like that. I like that. I like the uh, the story behind that. All right, that goes there. Well, this look at the keycap. There we go. It's a block of cheese, everybody. You like it? All right. I guess we go for this then. Oh, jeez. I'm still not used to getting back to the shift. <laughs> So Sky says, uh, asks, how do you feel when you press the key? Um, so it's interesting because compared to the MX Brown switches, the silver switches does not do not have the initial bump when you press down the key. It's a lot smoother for that reason. And I think the responsiveness is a bit quicker too. Oh wait. Wait, nothing. Did you request guitarist an hour ago? I just saw that. Okay, I'll I'll do guitarist then. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Jesus. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not fit for this, man. I don't have any muscle. You you request it anytime three times, Hyper. I'll play it anytime uh, in Easy Tuan. Or song play with DJ Mouse keyboard. Absolutely. Wow, it feels quite different. Whoa. I'm still trying to get used to this, but it feels so instant, like instantaneous. For some odd reason, Easy Tone feels a lot more responsive, like really, really fast, like rapid in input. Damn.
Wait, what? Oh, I found a uh, bit of a defect on my ESC key. Kink and on the side, kind of mushed in a little bit on the edge. It's actually dim, like dimpled. No, why? Molding error? Yeah, it could be, could be. It's no biggie. I can, I can, I can get by. I can get by. It's nothing terrible. I'm gonna try some lobby, okay? Wow, geez, Alpha, you're quick. <laughs> Part of which, that's a good request. Oh, Deco's here too. Rukino's here too. Jeez, you, <laughs> have you have you all been waiting? Hello, hello, hello. Gosh, four key, four keys feels so good. Holy moly. Yeah, 4K is good. 4K is freaking good. Woo! I think 4B feels the best to play for some reason. <laughs> so good. So freaking good. Yeah, this lighting is really... Actually, I really like the white lighting here, too. I have an idea. How about... How about if I just stick everything, like morph everything into like the AP and number pad oriented layout, even for 6B. There we go. Woo! Nicely done. Let's go! The cat evil time.
And there you have it. <laughs> okay. All right, let's get out of the lobby. GG. As a final verdict, it's good. It's really good. It's a lot better than I expected. I mean, I heard a lot of uh, people saying, um, the uh, talking about the quality issues uh, here and there, um, or how there are better keyboards out there. You know, they're right, probably. They're probably right. But as a person who's buying a keyboard of this tier for the first time, over two hundred dollars uh, area is, um, you know, for me, it really works out. So I'm, I'm really happy with everything, the feel, uh, the weight, the quality, the the touch, right? Especially if you are a rhythm game fan, um, and especially if you're a DJ Max fan, this is definitely a keyboard to have. A few criticisms, though. I mean, the fact that the the lighting doesn't shine through the letters, um, I consider that a bit of a downside. But I guess that can be solved if I uh, purchase like a separate keycaps. Uh, so it's not a biggie. It's not a biggie. Uh, another thing is that the one quality issue that we found with this ESC keycap, there is um, a bit of a dink, a few minor issues like this, but it's not, it's, not, it's nothing devastating, right? So I can, I can let that slip. That's fine. Oh yeah, one last thing. The space bar could have been a little bit, oh wait, oh, we have a YouTube uh, subscriber. Oh, uh, Sarah Bros, thank you for the uh, YouTube sub, sub. Thank you, thank you. Um, The space bar does feel a bit tingy. You know, it does have that metal, metallic ring um, echo to it whenever I hit the space bar. So that could have been better. But the rest of the keys are not as bad. But overall, when you go like pretty hard, you do hear that metallic echo. Other than that, that though, um, good print, really clean print on the keyboard and the keycaps. Love the shortcut keys for the 4, 5, 6, 8. Oh, the way, another criticism. For some reason, these four keys are super, super slow um, with the responsiveness. So I don't know what's up with that. Is Maybe it's a defect on my end. Who knows? But yeah, other than that, a good uh, print on the bottom of the keyboard as well, uh, on the side. And also you get the desk mat to go with it. It's all a complete set. Although I don't think I'll be using this pad uh, for daily use because I don't want this to go all dirty. I jokingly said, you know, goodbye to the last, the older keyboard, but I think I'm going to rock both uh, for sure. Probably this as a, as a, as the gaming keyboard and the little one as my daily task type of deal. I think that's, I'm going to, I'm going to rock both. Uh, Almighty says, nice stream. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you for being here, Almighty. And to wrap things up, you know, I'm so happy that uh, I was able to put my metallic keycaps on from the limited edition Respect V package. So everything's all complete now. Finally, yeah, I ordered this in April and it's August now. So it took a while, it took a while, but I'm happy I got it. I mean, this is so nice. I want to keep this as long as possible and having it look nice as long as possible. So that was my unboxing slash first impression slash review of the DJ Max Respect V limited edition keyboard, complete with this MX Silver switches. So it's all good. Very happy. Recommended. Although you can't get this anymore, so rest in peace for all those of you who get it. Damn. Yeah, but yeah, thank you all so much for joining today. It was a good stream, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it too. And whenever I get new things in the future, like the uh, the additional DJ Max merch, I'll do a stream like this with this setup, so you can at least take a look at what you you know, oh, what you want. <laughs>